Traditional endurance sport training programs generally incorporate swimming, cycling and running but fail to incorporate a strength and conditioning component. Common injuries in endurance sports generally occur in the lower limb, through the Achilles, the calf and the ankle and through the lower back. Triathlon has also been shown in the research to be positively associated with the likelihood of obtaining an injury. With all that being said, what's the real importance of training for strength when we're training for endurance? To understand why we need strength training in our endurance program, the first thing we need to do is understand what strength training actually does to our body. Strength training aids the development of our neuromuscular pathway, or the pathway between our brain and our muscle, to allow muscle contraction in the most efficient manner. If we develop our neuromuscular pathway through strength training, it's going to improve our overall endurance economy. In addition, Strength training develops the ability of a muscle to produce force and therefore improve our power output. By training for strength, if we increase our muscle efficiency and improve the amount of force we produce, we overall improve our endurance performance. As we age, our musculoskeletal health starts to decline. By strength training, we can prolong this process and ultimately extend the length of our endurance sport career. In addition, strength training also begins to minimise the risk of contracting injury. And as we said before, triathlon is positively associated with the likelihood of obtaining injury. So who wouldn't want to stay injury free? A common misconception for endurance sport athletes is that strength training is going to turn them into a bodybuilder and they're going to lose that aerobic performance. This is simply not true. We need to train smart, we need to train effectively. For endurance athletes, we want to target muscular endurance or the ability to perform a repeated contraction. How we manipulate our strength training variables is shown in this table here. Essentially, if we want to improve our muscular endurance, we need to be working at a relatively low intensity or low load for 15 or more reps with multiple sets and a low rest period between. This is going to simulate that fatigue resistance ability that we need during our endurance performance, but also give us enough time to develop that neuromuscular pathway between the brain and the muscle. <music> Strength training is a supplement to our already existing endurance programs for our swimming, our cycling, our running. It's going to improve our overall health, improve our neuromuscular pathway to make us more efficient and overall improve our endurance performance. So why wouldn't we want to incorporate it into our program?